Hello, I'm J. Paul Carpenter, Technology Specialist here at Mauser Electronics. I'm here today to introduce the ST Microelectronics BL475E IoT01A Discovery Kit for IoT Node, or the ST IoT Discovery Node for short. ST Microelectronics is a global leader in innovative semiconductor solutions for smart driving and the Internet of Things, or IoT. The ST Discovery IoT node is designed to be a smart node, which means that it sits on the edge of the network right before the Internet gateway. It includes a multitude of sensors and communication platforms to enable a wide range of interfacing options. The ST Discovery IoT node includes a wide variety of sensors, including two digital microphones, a three-axis magnetometer, a 3D accelerometer, a 3D gyroscope, an absolute digital pressure barometer, time of flight gesture sensor, capacitive digital relative humidity and temperature sensor. It includes four different communication interfaces including BTLE, Wi-Fi, dynamic NFC, a sub gigahertz transceiver in two frequencies, either 868 or 915 megahertz, depending on your region. The ST Discovery IoT node is powered by an STM32 L475 VGT processor, which consists of an ARM 32-bit Cortex M4 CPU running at up to 80 MHz. The software boasts more than 18 communication interfaces and uses both Arduino and PMOD connectors for adding to this already capable board. To connect your ST Discovery IoT node to your host computer for configuration, you will need to provide a micro USB AB cable, a host computer running Windows with available USB port, an internet connected Wi-Fi router with known SSID and password. You will need to download and install the following software for setup. ST-Link V2 driver which can be downloaded from the link provided. Account creation or login may be required. TerraTerm or other serial software and a text editor. The board now comes with the Amazon AWS demo that publishes temperature, humidity, orientation, and other sensor data to the cloud service and allows a web interface. Follow the instructions provided on Mauser.com at this link to set up the AWS cloud service. The directions describing what I am doing can be found here. All links will be provided in the video description as well. After completing the Amazon AWS setup, you will need to have the following information ready device name as configured in the Amazon AWS setup, root certificate ending in .pem, thing certificate ending in .pem.crt, private key ending in .pem.key, and the REST API endpoint address. To configure the device, open TerraTerm and start configuration. Select Serial in the New Connection window. Select the correct COM port from the drop-down box to the right and click OK. Click Setup, then Serial Port, and set the baud rate to 115200 and confirm that all other settings match my configuration on screen, then click OK. Click Setup, then Terminal, and set the New Line Receive to Auto and New Line Transmit to LF. Enable Local Echo and click OK. Press the black Reset button on the development board and you should start seeing the development information scrolling across the terminal screen. Configure the device for Internet access. The instructions will prompt you to press the blue user button to enter configuration mode. Enter the Wi-Fi SSID and press enter. Select the Wi-Fi encryption mode, input the password and press enter. Give the device the AWS credentials. To set the root certificate, open the file ending in .pem with a text editor. Copy the entire contents of the certificate file. I suggest using control A and control C. Right-click to paste the certificate into TerraTerm. Do not press Control V and click OK. Then press Enter. To set the thing certificate, open the file ending in .pem.crt in a text editor. Copy the entire contents of the certificate file using Control A and Control C. Right-click to paste the certificate into TerraTerm. Do not use Control V and click OK. And press Enter. To set the private key, open your file ending in .pem.key in a text editor. Copy the entire contents of the certificate file using Ctrl A and Ctrl C. Right click to paste the contents of the certificate into TerraTerm. Do not use Ctrl V and click OK. And then press Enter. To set the server and thing names, copy the REST API endpoint address. 
Right-click to paste the address into TerraTerm. Do not use Control-V. Set the device name as defined in the AWS setup. The board will start sending data once it is connected to AWS every 10 seconds for 10 minutes. To view the connectivity, select the AWS console on your browser. Select Registry, select Things, and then select Your Thing. Click on Activity. You will see a graph showing the connection rates. To interact with your thing, select the MQTT client. Under Publish window, input the following command that you see on the screen or found in the setup document. In the black JSON window below, copy the statement on the screen or in the setup document. Click the Publish to Topic button and watch your board's LED turn on. To turn off, go to the Publish window and repeat the previous instructions, changing the word on to off. Your IoT solution is now live. Are you ready to start development with the Smart IoT node? Then consider the ST Discovery IoT node, the easy way to get an IoT solution started. For more information on the ST Discovery IoT node, go to the link shown.